Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Balwi, the Medical Director at Elite Hair. Today, I would like to tell you about the FUE technique. The FUE technique is a special method to harvest grafts from the donor area. After the FUE process is completed, microchannels are opened so that we can insert the grafts. As you can see here, we harvest the grafts using the FUE technique. Then, V-shaped channels are opened with sapphire tool. Finally, the individual grafts are transplanted into the channels. After the grafts are extracted, they are placed into a special enriched solution. After that, we start the transplantation. Here is a picture of the donor area. As you can see, the grafts are taken one at a time. Where you see the red dots, one graft was taken from each. With the micro FUE technique, the grafts are removed individually. Several grafts are not removed in one piece. So, I would like to show you a little comparison between the old and the new technique. I will go into detail about the difference between the old method, FUT, and the new method, FUE. FUT stands for follicular unit transplantation. A complete strip of skin is removed for this procedure. As you can see, this strip is quite large. After removal, the strip of skin is dissected into small pieces. These small pieces are then transplanted one by one. With FUE, or follicular unit extraction, the grafts are extracted individually, then collected in the fluid and finally transplanted one by one. I will now explain the advantages of this method over the old method. As you can see, the FUE technique leaves minimal scars in the donor area, but the FUT technique leaves a huge strip-shaped scar. The FUT technique is also a very painful procedure, but fortunately, the FUE technique is more comfortable. With the FUT technique, the patient's blood loss is slightly higher. They lose about 150 to 200 cc of blood, but with the FUE technique, the maximum blood loss is 50 cc. One big advantage to the FUT technique is after the piece is removed, there is a constant feeling of tension in the donor area because the stitches pull the cut closed from the top and bottom. Whereas with the FUE technique, there is minimal discomfort in the donor area. With the FUT technique, the patient has to keep their hair surrounding the donor area long to cover the very wide and unsightly scar. The patient with the FUE technique on the other hand, can keep their hair at zero, one centimeter or two centimeters without the tiny pinpoint scars being visible. The FUT technique gives a very unnatural finish in the donor area. However, with the FUE technique, it looks very natural. The results of transplantation with FUT look very artificial because this technique does not allow a very high number of grafts to be transplanted and the units are very large. In contrast, the results with the FUE technique are very natural. We can transplant 100 grafts per square centimeter with FUE, but with FUT technique, a maximum of only 20 grafts is possible. So, to summarize, the FUT technique causes very undesirable side effects in the donor area and the results look artificial. On the other hand, the FUE technique causes less discomfort and the hair is thick and natural. I will now show you one of our patients who was operated on using the FUE technique. Here you can see the donor area of our patient before the operation. The donor area is thick and the hair quality is good. Here you see the donor area after shaving. The boundaries are drawn in blue. In this picture of our patient's donor area after the FUE operation, you can see pinpoint redness. These are the areas where the hair was removed. As you can see here in the picture of our patient's donor area, there are no visible signs of surgery even though his hair is short. Four thousand grafts were taken from this patient of ours. As you can see, he can wear his hair short or long as he likes. 
Yes, you can see it more clearly here. Notice that our patient has very minimal scarring. If this patient wants, they can even have a second hair transplant because there's still a lot of hair here. We could remove another 3,000 grafts from him. This would also leave a natural finish here, like the first operation. Yes, now the hair in the donor area has grown more. As you can see, we are back to the first picture with this patient. The image of the donor area before the operation and the image now, six months later, are almost 100% the same. If you would like more information, please contact our consultants. And finally, I would like to say that I look forward to welcoming you to our clinic in Istanbul.